Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Lieutenant Nathaniel Flint of the Landship Scorpios. And today, uh, we're starting the official walkthrough of the game that I created, Wild Aras. It is a steampunk RPG lore machine. Uh, it is based off the world of citizensofantifer.com. Uh, it is a free game. The, the link is down in the description below uh, on itch.io. It is free for everyone. And I'm just super excited uh, to get through it. Uh, it's very hard to motivate myself to write the walkthrough. So I thought that doing a, a playthrough walkthrough and having that up for everyone is there. Uh, on my channel, there's like six or seven videos of the beginning of the game. So I'm going to try to get through the beginning as fast as possible. We're not going to be talking about... Um, the technical stuff, the, the gameplay mechanics, or going through some strategy. Uh, for the most part, this is a walkthrough. So we will be going through the cutscenes, talking about the lore and things. But for the most part, we're going to be beelining with each episode to get something done to get through the main campaign. Uh, I will also be avoiding doing some side quests. Um, the only difference is getting the dog companion, which I will make a part of the official walkthrough since uh, that is one of the easiest and for most people the first companion they'll get and it will make the rest of the walkthrough much easier. We'll do side quests as their own video for each person and each side quest. So let us just beeline and we will uh, get through this together. So uh, without further ado, let's start the game. For this playthrough, we'll choose the female. You're a humble zoo uh, employee. What did your father do? So, your fa what did your father do is your way of picking your class. Um, so, we've got soldier, doctor, thief, engineer. I did not do these very well. So, what I will suggest is that if it's your first time playing the game, or if you're pretty unconfident with how it's going to go, uh, let's go with soldier. Um, because I'm not the best one-man game-making team. Soldier is basically how everything was tested and, like, ran. Uh, Thief is probably another good safe one, although I'm pretty sure their health is a little bit low. Uh, but Doctor and Engineer are designed with very specific play uh, things in mind. And when I finally started playing through them right before release, I realized the game is a lot harder with them. You really have to, like be paying attention to what their pros and cons are. That's not unimportant. So you start in the zoo basement. Um, you have some things you can get. You got some money. You got uh, some money around here. Um, there's some lore bits around. Um, let's, there's these journals that will tell the story of the zoo uh, kind of environmentally. So important things to remember about your uh, bedroom is you can heal at any time by coming back here and sleeping in the bed. This will give you a full heal. It will give you, I believe, a full of all your um, extras. So as you can see, we have HP, SP, uh, health points, steam power, and in a fight, you get TP, technical power, which is just for in the fight kind of stuff. So as you're exploring the bedroom, you're checking out all the lore bits, uh, you'll find this letter that is addressed to you, please come see me at your earliest convenience. So we know that we have to leave. If at any point you get lost in the game, there's a journal here that you can come back to, you can see your main quest. So at the moment, the new zoo director is here today, I should track them down. Can restore you when you feel worn out. The journal is a good place to keep track of your daily activities. Even if you forget what you were doing, you can always check here. You can interact with uh, stuff in the world. So when you leave your bedroom uh, in the zoo basement, you'll come up to the uh, zoo proper. You'll see the main door to leave is down here, which at the moment is locked. You'll see the point to go to the outside, which is also locked. However, you can make your way up to the zoo director, who is Fauna Latrice. So now we have the journal telling us to go see the zoo director, and we had that letter telling us to go see Fauna Latrice. So the player is directed in two ways. Listen, Miss Latrice, the payments are just too far behind. No, I'm telling you, 
I'm on this. I have a five-part plan, and I'm sorry, Miss Latrice. Look at this place. Empty pens, empty hall, and an empty bank account. I know, but please, we can get the people in. Look, I can't keep making excuses for this failure. I need the money as soon as possible. Otherwise, this zoo is done. Do you work here? You should jump ship while you have the chance. Hello, do I know you? Ah, you're the one who's been living in the basement. Do you work here? What's your name? What should I name for uh, the walkthrough playthrough? I guess I'm just going to choose Val for no particular reason. That just popped into my head, so we'll just choose Val. Well, if you want to stay, Val, you'll have to do work. My name is Fauna Latrice. Please call me Fauna. I'm the new zoo director. The zoo is doing terribly. See? Empty. We need animals to bring in people. Go collect animals for the zoo. You will need supplies to be effective. Here, take this. You received cage one. You'll also notice that you have a perfect view of that door that just opened in the top left. Now head down to our supply room and make sure you're ready to start collecting animals for the zoo. So if you explored earlier or if you were just, um, you went directly there and you didn't notice, you'd see that door open and you'll see the employees only storeroom. When we enter, we have a small cutscene. Hey, coworker, you getting some supplies? I need your help. If you're going downstairs for more supplies, please clear it out of rats. You can open certain trunks and crates to find supplies, equipment, and tools. So look around. So you'll see the two types of kind of like chests in the game, trunks and crates. Shovel was found. Clothes were found. After equipping what we have, uh, we head down to the basement. Here we can see on the other side of this locked door is a rat. That is our goal for this level. So you make your way through this little tutorial place, which teaches you some of the mechanics of the game, gives you opportunities to find certain special things. Just open the door with this little thing on the wall, and then we have a rat. You're going to choose to catch the rat. And you just beat it in battle. So that rat should be easy enough where even if you don't get the shovel and your first armor, which is regular clothes, um, you should still be able to beat it. It's just a tutorial fight. But with the shovel and definitely with the with the first armor, it should be almost a guaranteed win. So now that the rat is unconscious, you choose to grab it. It's your first thing. This chest here is for DLC. Uh, we have little physical copies of the game we're planning on making. So with those little physical copies of the game, uh, we do plan on having a code, I believe it's called the Companion Bundle, which will have items uh, tailored off the real world characters who make up the companions in the game. So once you're done, you just open this back up and we head back up to Fauna. You go to Fauna when your cage is full and you have an animal. Now go, we need to be ready to collect some animals, head to the supply room, and gear up. Whoa, you caught a rat? That's good enough for now. Great work. I'm sure this will be a great start. You gain experience. One of the best ways to gain experience in the game is to catch animals and bring them back to the zoo. It's also one of the only ways to progress, for the most part, in the story. 
Uh, you get things like train tickets from the zoo. You get things like uh, cage upgrades from doing things for the zoo. So we're now at level two. We'll need more than rats for the zoo. Hey, maybe the old owners left some reports behind about what animals they used to house here. The records room is in the attic. It's right up the stairs to the right of my office. Can you head up there and bring me back the zoo records? That might help us uh, make a plan. It should be on a bookshelf up there. So when you walk to the right and go up, you'll be able to find uh, the, the records. On your way there, be sure to pick up the empty address book. That will help you tell where your companions are as you unlock them. Up in the records room, you'll be able to look around. Um, the book with the history of the zoo is just the credits. When you find the zoo records, you'll spot an old book labeled zoo records. You have a little trouble getting it free of its space, but it finally wriggles free. Special items received will appear in your key item slot. Before leaving, you see old pages in the back titled Project Demetrius Records. You grab them to show to Fauna. We return to Fauna to give her the zoo records. You found them good. So it looks like they had quite the roster of critters in these pens at one time. How are we going to get a Gaza or a cave bear? This is looking hopeless. We will have we have a rat and one poor cage. No, I didn't come across the ocean from Peor to lose now. Come on, think. We have a cage, we have a rat, and we have a worker with cage experience. All right, that settles it. You can get more animals for the zoo. If we can attract the tourists visiting Antiford with local wildlife, then we can start earning a steady income. With that CM, we can then buy larger attractions and earn back local customers. I'm pretty brilliant. Hmm? What's that? More records? Let me take a look. Project Demetrius? I've never heard of it. The previous owners never mentioned it. Okay, we got a plan. I'll look at, over these records a little more. However, I need you to be my animal catcher. Let's call it pulling overtime. What? Fairness? You're the one living for free downstairs. It's repayment, okay? Look, go catch some local wildlife and then we can talk. We need to start bringing in a few more creatures to bring in some customers, all right? Here, obtained zoo key. This key will allow you to come and go from the zoo. Now go, we need more animals for the zoo. So now we have the zoo key. Each time you gather a zoo critter, you'll see them in a pen at the zoo. So there's our little rat looking fat and happy. And now we can leave the zoo out into Gearford proper. And now we're out in Gearford. This is the Saks District, the first area that you unlock. And we have a generalized task. Go out and collect more local uh, wildlife to fill the zoo. And with that, that's going to end part one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll probably part uh, post this with the first few parts at the beginning, just to kind of wrap up the stuff we've already seen. So definitely go and check out part two, which is probably posted along with this video. And with that, that's all that I'm gonna do for this. Uh, again, Wild Araz is free down below. Do check it out at itch.io. And uh, with that, I'm going to call it good for this part one. Please join us in part two, where we continue the storyline and gather up some animals uh, to get to a point where we can leave Gearford.